Hello everyone, this is All Outdoor One here. Um, got a couple of gear reviews to do today. Um, as you can see outside, it's snowing again, so causing major disruptions to traffic, etc. So I uh, decided to stay and do some gear reviews. It's a weekend anyway. So um, this is the first thing I'm looking at today. Um, this is a uh, new military fuel gel um, comes in uh, packs of three which is uh, comes in a cardboard box and you get three of these sachets inside um, here it says Murphy says there is no such thing as a fair fight only ones where you win or lose um, American flag there need I say more um, yeah there's some order numbers there etc etc um, this seems to be made from diethylene glycol I'm not sure what that is exactly but essentially it is quite toxic so best not to um, contaminate your food with this stuff under any circumstances even though it says a safe heat source etc etc I think it's uh, it lets out less toxic fumes than uh, previous milita military uh, fuels such as uh, hexamine trioxane um, you know, Esbit, that kind of stuff. Um, still says using a ventilated area. Uh, gives you the directions here. Uh, squeeze out and light. Uh, fill canteen with water, place on top. And let it do its thing, basically. Uh, avoid skin and eye contact. Accidental contact. Uh, use water to wash out. So, it's not very friendly stuff still. Um, it's probably advisable to use something like... Uh, alcohol gel which is definitely a lot safer than this stuff but I'm sure this stuff will probably uh, burn at a higher temperature um, but we'll give it a little boil test now I'll just set it up so as you can see here I've squeezed some of this gel into my Trangier stove I'm um, sorry into my BCB stove it's a uh, quite a viscous clear gel um, we'll see how this lights up now Alright, so let's see how easily this stuff takes. Well, that was not too difficult. I don't think it takes quite as easily as um, as um, green heat, as in alcohol fuel. Um, but there we go. Right, so just going to put the water on here now. There's um, 250 milliliters of water in there. That's uh, what's that? Half a pint. Um, so we'll see how quickly that comes to the boil. Just starting the old stopwatch here, and I'll come back to it once it started boiling. Okay, so we've just come to a rolling boil now, and it's what nine minutes. So about nine minutes, and uh, you've got your rolling boil on. Uh, that's not too bad. Um, you know, using alcohol stoves, you can expect to get a boil from anything between six to twelve minutes, depending on environmental factors and temperature. I mean, at the moment, it's below zero. Even in this shed here, um, must be about minus one in here, I'd say. Obviously, you have no wind in here. Um, yeah, so that's, that's still going strong. There's plenty of fuel in there. I reckon the amount of fuel in one packet you could boil just under a litre of water, 750 mils. Um, yeah, that'll bring it to the boil pretty much. There'll be enough fuel in there. So, enough for two people to get make some meals out of or drinks. Um, so it seems to be pretty effective. I think it was hard to light because it is so cold. Um, so it's, you know, temperature seems to affect this kind of gel. But it seems to work fairly effectively. Um, yeah, so that's the new uh, military fuel gel, um, American uh, diethylene glycol. Works pretty well. Um, seems to have good BTUs. Put out good BTUs, should I say? Uh, seems to burn pretty cleanly also I can't 
can't really smell anything to be honest. No fumes coming off it as such and as compared to trioxane which stinks frankly. Um, yeah, so that's the new military fuel gel and this is all out the one here signing out. Take care. Yeah, this is the uh, military fuel gel just burning away here. Burns down to a white, kind of ashy substance. Um, yeah, it's quite hard to blow out. You know, doesn't go out very easily once it's lit properly. Um, yeah, that's just a little observation there.